these songs that are the extant songs, not the new songs, but the extant songs, are songs that Leslie wrote for the theater. Leslie and Tony Newley wrote for the theater, and they were about character, moving plot forward. They fit the musical theater. So it's not like pulling a song that has nothing to do with a character's intention. So we have these songs that were written for theater. And then each and every one of the songs that are in this show were songs that Sammy sang. So they have a direct relationship to a plot, to character, and specifically a Sammy Davis Jr. We're trying to make sure that all the elements are coming out of Sam. It's coming out of his culture. It's coming out of how he did things. Um, throughout you know, tapes and movies, music, always trying to make sure that it's organically coming out of the culture. We believe that the world of Sammy is not about any external. It's always about the actor. It is about the actors working with other actors. Whenever you saw him on stage with the Rat Pack, there was not a lot of scenery. They would create worlds with their bodies. We also knew that we had to have actors who could act without the ball. You know, we couldn't have huge pieces of scenery to give you cereals. We couldn't have pieces of scenery to truly give you Harlem. We would create that from your bodies. We would create that from how you sing, how you move. You know, what we just do is we put Andukene there and you got <laughs> what you need. You know, you just get out the way. Get out the way. I am extremely thrilled to be a part of uh, this show. Uh, it was music like this that I wanted to do in the first place when I turned professional, mm -hmm. you know, but it wasn't in style then. It was like all over. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you know, R&B and like, you know, whatever else is, is happening. And so like now it comes around like say full circle. And as fantastic as this music is, I would love for you to be able to see the movement and know the story. So I'm going to insist from me and from the cast for you guys that, uh, that, that movement-wise we stay as true as we can, mm -hmm. that you actually feel this movement in your seat. I mean, you, I want butt squeezing and arms twitching and not out of nervousness, but out of joy and being able to go along this journey with uh, Mr. Babatunde and Sam.